for a moment of silence. Her mom just passed away. <laughs> Just, you know, it's bad timing. Hey, but she saw, we, she got, she felt like the tail end of that happy birthday song. So she went out with a smile. That's what I was like. It was good. No, no, one more time for, uh, for Finn. Just to be that, that, oh, man, living that long. Give it up for that. That's our whole life. All right, let's keep the show moving along here. This next guy is from Michigan uh, as well. A star club right now for Mr. John Lorich, everybody. Give it John Lorich. Going for Trey Stewart. All right. Yeah, I'm from the uh, Upper Peninsula, in Michigan, but uh, well, you were, yeah. You know, you first here. Where, where are you guys from? What part of the UP? I'm not a UP, but my family's from Detroit. Oh, okay, but you know of UPers anyway. Yeah, we normally don't get to escape. Yeah, it's a work work pass or. Uh, Execution thing, they, they bury us outside the state to keep it pristine. <laughs> Only way I got out, I didn't have a work pass, so I had to start shoveling my way out. Everybody up there either gets the spade shovel or the flat shovel when they're born, and I, I got the flat one. So I was shoveling snow for about 40 years trying to get out here. <laughs> I got to LA and my shovel was like that big. So glad I don't have to shovel snow. You guys are lucky. Anybody here out in LA little here? No? There's no snow to shovel. They're still shoveling six feet of snow up there. There's been snow piles so high, like the, at the top of the telephone pole. How do they shovel that much snow? I'm, I, at least I didn't have to do it. That was before my time, but and it was actually before global warming too, right? Like you never see snow piles to the top of telephone poles anymore. So it's obviously global warming. I love that. I have recorded proof where I'm from, global warming exists. Because now, I used to go shovel snow, and it was like just raining snow, sleet, and horrible conditions. I'm out there in my little snowsuit shoveling, you know, nine years old, <laughs> trying not to freeze to death.